All right, so that was the live arrangement of the song No Halos in Hell from the album of the same name, our second album. The gear I used on the album, it was Engel Fireball 60 into Engel cabinet with V30s and the other side, I can't remember which way they were, was EVH 3, the ivory one, the 100, 100, 120 watt into oversized Mesa with V30s and boosted with a Maxon, that big overdrive. Uh, producer Jacob Hansen favors that. What I have now, what I used on the song, is a my signature ESP, one of the guitars I used on the album with EMG 81 85 pickups. Then it goes to my pedal board where I have a few pedals, but the only one I used or two was the SD1 and ISP decimator. Then the single goes to PV5150 and into Sandrock React IR, where I have my signature IR Valo Virtuos, which is based on an oversized Mesa with V30s. And then I'm, I recorded it to Steinberg audio interface via Steinberg audio interface into Cubase, where I'm recording the guitar now. <laughs> The tuning is our standard tuning, standard C. So two whole steps down from standard E. The strings I use are DR12 to 60 set. The song is in, well, it's in C minor, but I'm gonna talk as if it will be in E minor, since it's easier for me and I guess for you too, because when I play E here, it's actually C, because this is tuned, but yeah. So E minor, it is natural E minor, all the riffs are based on that scale and uh, the solo is based on that too and then there's a little bit pentatonics and blue scale things. I'm, I'm just gonna go through the riffs on this live arrangement. On the album there's a bunch of different guitars with different sounds, low gain, mid gain, high gain, but live we basically play it, you know, one sound and delay every now and then. And then we use the volume knob to, you know, lower the game. So the first riff, guitar left, goes like this. I'm gonna play this low so you can follow. down tuning. It's pretty fast on the album. Down tuning, down picking, you know. Da, 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 da. You could play it with this alternate picking, but uh, I think it's it's not the same. You know, you want to play this kind of riff riffs on, on down picking. Okay, so that was the riff, E minor scale. Guitar right, what I'm doing live, it's just a harmony, except the low E stays the same. So it goes like this. This riff was written by our singer, J. Key. Hmm, really good, really, really good riff. I pimped it a bit to the album, but basically it's written, written by Jake. Okay, then comes the verse, the first part. There is a couple of chords, goes like this. So, E. B, C, D. Five, chord, five chords. Both guitars doing that. Cool. Then on the album there's a bunch of semi-clean guitars, kind of harmonies, but live we do it like this. So we just roll down the volume a bit and then it's a C is as two. That's a 
is the left and the right is doing. And this is kind of funny, this, this harmony thing. So when I recorded this, I didn't want to just use the standard you know, third harmonies. But what is going on there, the first three notes are third harmonies. Then comes three notes in unison, so exactly the same. And then the final thing is the other guitars going here on F sharp and the other to B. Which is crisp. Like basically a B chord inversion. Cool. So it's kind of like fifth harmony. This being the root and the, this being the, the low, low fifth. Cool. The chords, very simple. The chords that I used on many songs. Really, you know, this pop structure. So it's E minor, but we played in fifth. E, C, G, D. So, and then E, C, D. Then, what I'm doing live, I play this harmony, but I'm staying a long time on this G5, G octave. So it creates different harmonies, because the first chord is E, I'm playing G, it's minor third harmony. Then it's, it's C, I'm still playing G, then it's kind of fifth below. Then it goes to G. Then I'm switching to, to F sharp. No, not yet. Well, anyway, you, you saw on the video, it's, it's really simple. And this is like the straight H, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm switching to F sharp when the, the rhythm guitar is going to D, so it creates this kind of chord. Okay? Well, that's the chorus, really simple. And then the accents in the end, it's like uh, half of the chord, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then the, when the chorus ends, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, down. Then the main riff, but the second half, so... those ring and then on the album there comes the chords again but what we do live is we play a third harmony so guitar left Marcus is doing this really simple thing and I'm playing a third harmony but I'm, I'm keeping the E there as a pedal point Cool. Then left guitar is doing instead of well on the album that's there, but live on the album there's also this. So octaves C D E. And I'm playing E E F sharp G. Okay. 
third harmonies. Then the chorus again. Then the solo. That's the main riff, but it's like <laughs> the other way around. So it starts on the second part of the main riff. Well, let me show you. It goes like this. Is it that? Well, I mean, we just thought that uh, let's do something a little bit different there. So yeah, it's like the other way around. And it's harmonized, the, the rhythm guitar. But live, obviously, well, I'm playing the solo and it goes like this. What I have here now is a full tone Clad Deluxe Wah, because that's the Wah I used on the album, at least on this song. There's three settings. There's normal, called Shaft, then Jimmy, and then Whack it. I used the Whack it on this song, on the version you, you saw, and on, on the album it's kind of like deeper, almost like a bass wah. I, I used the Jimmy uh, position too, which is basically the same as the Jimmy Hendrix wah. So it goes like this. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you without a wah. So it's E minor. It was kind of improvised, but this kind of like Randy Roach style. And then huge vibrato and E. And wah. Not really, like minute. And then comes this kind of like... Like chaka chaka, so like muted string. And then double stop. And then, you know, classic blues thing. And then this really fast pentatonic lick. Flat fifth, the evil note there. This kind of came after, and then it's, it's this like run in E E minor. It goes like one two three four one two three four. It's all the time one two three four one two three four. It's kind of like like Gary Morris out, out in the field, kind of where I got it. Like so, it's like. So slowly. There was one hiccup. It's harder to play slowly. But the ending is... Like that. And then it's a chorus, the riff, and it actually ends with the with the with the same 
same lick, you know, the, the, the end. On that live version you just heard, I think I used a bridge pickup because it's really, there's no time to switch, but you know, something. Sometimes live we've extended that a little bit, you know, just something fast in force, starting on E. You know, that's the fun part of playing solos, because you can, you know, I don't think that if I've ever played, you know, exactly like that, but the, the idea, because these are so fast, so it's sometimes just nice to, you know, close your eyes and, you know, wish for the best, you know, so, <laughs> as long as you end up on the right note, it's, it's cool. But, and stay kind of in the scale. That was no halos in hell. Hopefully you found this interesting and so on. I like this and maybe got some ideas to your own songwriting and guitar arrangement and stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like, thumbs up, please subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.